What's up metalheads, welcome back to Sinister Bunny Studios, your go-to channel for heavy metal content, and as a reminder, if you're new, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification icon, because it's metal. Now today, I've got another awesome product from my friends over at FIFA in Technology, and um, you guys know them, they've sent me a lot of things uh, for the last better part of a year and a half or so, and they sent me something else that I think is somewhat new for them. So I'm very excited to show this to you guys. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this and see what's inside. So it's Fifine's typical like cardboard box, you know. But upon opening it, uh, well, let's get this out of the way. The user guide, never use it. And their little bookmark thing with their stuff on it that they always have and all of their stuff. And then it's an empty box. So you don't need anything beyond that. But now, you have this big old pouch here. Black pouch that has Fifine written on it and it's like a drawstring pull string pouch, okay? So upon opening that pouch, you will have an adapter cable, bingo, a headset mic, which is uh, part of this, I guess. I didn't know that was in there, that's cool. We got some extra clips for the mic and some extra wind covers for them as well. Uh, we also have, oh, this wind cover fell off of the uh, headset mic. That's supposed to go on the end like that. Whoopsie daisy. Here's the actual adapter uh, for using different devices. It just needs this to work with like a phone or like my H2N, you know, different things like that. Need a different kind of cable between TRS and TRS, TRRS. And you get a mic splitter so that you can have two mics down into one cable. Convenient. And you got the lav mic. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to test out is the actual headset mic because I did not know this was actually in this product. I thought it was just a lavalier mic. So I'm going to plug this in, get it going, and show you guys how this sounds. I'm not expecting too much from these. I'll probably never use a headset mic. The lav mic is what I'm more interested in. But since this was in it, I'll have to show you guys. This is the headset mic. This is what it sounds like. Um, it's not going to be the greatest quality, but, you know, if you're needing to talk to some people on a film set or something like that through this, um, it's definitely a way to go. It's a little wonky and a little weird to use just for me, honestly, because I've never really used headsets, stuff like this. But this is what kind of quality you can expect from it. Okay, you guys, so now I have the actual lapel mic plugged in. It's you, This is my purple panda that you guys normally hear me on. That's in the middle of my chest. And the fee fine lapel is off to the left side right here. Well, right side, I'm not sure. It's on my left shoulder. This one where I'm pointing at, this is the fee fine. That's what you're hearing me on. This is the kind of quality you can expect from it. I haven't heard it yet. I'm not sure what it's gonna sound like. So I'm gonna be uh, listening back to this to see how it sounds. As far as I can tell with the levels going through on my computer, it seems to be recording at a decent level. That's because I know how to set levels in gain. However, that also means that it's not overly sensitive. I come to find with those headset mics like um, the one I showed you just a second ago, they tend to be highly sensitive and they don't sound the best, but I'm excited to see how this Fifine uh, lapel mic sounds. Maybe I'll add it to my repertoire of microphones, maybe not, I'm not sure. But this is the quality you can expect from this Fifine lavalier microphone. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm trying to keep these uh, reviews quite a bit shorter and more like like this. I'm not doing some crazy shots and stuff like that with it. I want it to be more of like an experience rather than a put together like promotion of the product because I kind of want my first reactions to it and stuff like that to be on camera um, rather than me planning it out a little bit more. Um, just because the focus of the channel isn't product reviews and I feel like that's what it started becoming and I want to change that. I'll still do the reviews and stuff because obviously free products are great but I'm going to keep them as a lesser priority and I'm going to kind of do them in this fashion probably from now on unless I find a different way. Um, regardless, uh, I, like I said earlier, it's kind of what I expected. The headset, not my favorite, but if you like it then you got it to use and it's just kind of a bonus that comes with it. Awesome. You got it if you need it. Um, the actual lapel or lavalier microphone, I think it sounds pretty decent. Um, does it sound better than my Purple Panda? I would argue that, honestly, because I just, I don't know. I love the Purple Panda lavalier microphone and it's been like a uh, part of my arsenal for so long. 
and it's just tried and true. It's been working me ever since. It's been working for me ever since I got it. It hasn't broken down. I haven't had issues with it. It works great. It gets the job done, and it sounds great. Um, so I can say that the Purple Panda has stood the test of time for me. I can't say the same for the Fifine microphone because I haven't used it as long. But it does actually have decent quality, and for the price, you're getting a lot of stuff. A lot of adapters, a lot of splitters, extensions, and two microphones essentially. It's a pretty good deal all together. And if that's something you're looking for and you're on a budget and you want to get a lapel microphone and have like an extra microphone on the side if you need it, this product is definitely a good buy. All right, like always, if you want to get this for yourself, there's a link down in the description um, so you can go click over and purchase this for yourself and treat yourself to something nice for once because you need to do so. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay metal, my friends.